Andy and I started British Fine Foods just over four and a half years ago, and it's our mission at British Fine Foods to support and promote the very best small British producers and make their products available to customers all around the British Isles. Our British producers put their heart and soul into their products to give us such a truly wonderful taste experience, so let's give them something back. We want to help them get their quality products known to a wider audience around the British Isles. We want to help people to buy British. We love seeing the producers and how the products are made. So today I'm going off to Lancashire to go and see Andrew Shorrock where the famous Lancashire bombs made. So here I am in Guzna, really excited to see uh, Andrew Shorrock and uh, where the famous Lancashire bombs are made. This is the little lane which is down to the farm where the Shorrock's cheese is made. I've arrived! So is that for the apple and port, that colour? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've so. dipped in there four or five times. Yeah. Put on the thickness of the wax and then hung on here to dry. They're matured for 24 months and they just look absolutely fantastic. Love the champagne and strawberry one with the glitter. And the red onion bomb with the ploughman's Andrew is absolutely fantastic. How long do they dry in here for? Ten minutes. Is that all they need? Yeah. And then that's finished. Ten minutes, of course, for now, eh? You can't really bag them when the war works and it'll come and set. Yeah. You'll get fluid in the bag and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. And they can't be really stacked while the war, else if you get too much weight on them, they didn't. It's really probably the rock solid to stack. Yeah. Deep. So is that why they have the ribbon purposefully for the mechanism of drying them? Yeah. I had to. Think of something that when I, when I first made the, the original one, the first one, of how I was going to dip it in the wax yeah. and, and keep my fingers out, out of it and whatnot. Yeah. And make it look like that. So I thought, oh, right, it must be. Stick the thing up like that and a loop and then stick it in like that. So what, because they've been made since 1923, or your family's been making it since 1923, is that right? My granddad was making cheese and one Preston open cheese fair. The year the war broke out, so we were making yeah. cheese before that. Really. Before, yeah. But it weren't these. these um, are, uh, is this all you? This is you. <laughs> yeah. And so, and you renamed, you called it the Lancashire Bomb. Yeah. Originally they were coal black beauties, but then we thought, no. Better. Yeah. Like the horse. Yeah. Because people in South Africa were made from horse milk. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>